Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming another What I Eat In A Day video. You guys have been seeming to really enjoy these videos. I enjoy filming them. I think it's just a great way to share and a great way to get inspiration when you're on the Smart Point Weight Watchers diet. And also just a great way for food and sport in general, especially when it comes to eating healthier and making more informed choices. And it's definitely working. I'm gonna be doing a weight loss update at the end of the month, which will mark my fourth week on the Smart Point diet and I'll let you know how it's going, but it's going really, really well. A few things that I need to do, I need to edit a few videos and I also need to record a couple of videos and have a lot of paperwork and admin to do today. So it's the home day, but it's quite a busy day. So I'm gonna have some fruit to start off the day because I always find that fruit is nice and light for me. It energizes me really well and I don't really fancy a yogurt. And normally I alternate between either a yogurt or fruit for my breakfast, depending on how hungry I am. So I'm gonna get on with making that in a moment. Um, and I'm gonna have a coffee as well because I haven't had caffeine yet and I'm definitely in need of it. Comment down below if you have any recipes you want me to try or any recommendations that you guys have and also let me know how you're doing because I know a lot of you are either dieting or you're watching what you eat on some of you are on the Weight Watchers diet as well. So get in touch and let me know how you're doing. So while I'm waiting for my coffee to brew, I thought I would update you on what I'm thinking about for the rest of the day. I'm thinking about having some kind of egg fry up situation for lunch because I think by the time it gets there and I've done quite a bit of work, I'll be quite hungry. So I'm gonna try and do like a makeshift healthier point-esque um, full English, which it won't be as bad as it sounds because it will all be pointed. But I'm, I'm really interested to see how I can make that work. And if I can make it work, it'd be a great option for weekends and things like that. So I think I'm going to have that for lunch, especially considering the fact that my breakfast is going to be free because it's just predominantly fruit. And then for dinner tonight, I'm thinking about making chicken chic kebabs, which I'm so excited about. I love kebabs. I love kind of street food. So I'm going to do it with like flatbread and salad. And I think it's just going to be a really nice, lighter option, um, especially considering the fact that even though it looks dark and grey outside, it's still mega hot. So it's quite difficult to know what you're gonna fancy and how heavy you want to eat and things like that so yeah I think chic kebab chicken chic kebabs is gonna be a really great option for me so that is what I'm thinking menu wise if it changes obviously I'll update you so breakfast is a very simple one I just have a fruit bowl and um, with some melon and um, three different types of melon like cantaloupe and um, I've got some grapes and some cut up orange segments as well this is just nice and light and um, to be quite honest I'm not that hungry so fruit is always the best way to go for me in the mornings and um, unless they have a yogurt it's it tends to be fruit and I also have my coffee and um, I don't point the milk I have in my coffee just because I never finish it and to be quite honest I don't drink that much of it it's just something nice and warm to wake me up in the mornings so that's why I don't do that but feel free to track that if you would like to so it's been a super productive morning. I've done quite a lot of paperwork already and I've got a couple of videos filmed as well, which is always great. Um, and for the rest of the day, I think we're just gonna edit. But before that, obviously, it's time for lunch and I'm quite hungry now, actually, which is nice. So I think I'm going to do, like I said, some kind of English breakfast situation. Sounds good, doesn't it? So let's go. So if I know what I'm having for dinner, what I'll do is I'll point it all so I already know in advance what I can spend on my lunch. And that way it just saves having points at the end of the night that I'm struggling to figure out how to use. I'm definitely guilty of that. So this has definitely taught me to have more of a meal plan. I get a majority of my pointing done throughout the morning and if I have a spare few points here and there, I know I can snack throughout the day. And it just avoids any um, struggles like last time I struggled to use my last few points as you guys saw and I don't want to eat for eating sake so I'd rather have a bit of extra chicken or a bit of extra um, cheese or something like that instead of just eating later on something that I wouldn't have normally eaten if that makes sense so I know that my dinner tonight is going to total to 13 points I've worked it all out I know I've pointed everything in the measurements that I want so it's easy for me now to know that I have 10 points left for my lunch and that's just great because now I know exactly what I can get away with and it just makes it easier because that means now that I know I can have 10 points for my lunch and you know it's there and I have the weekly points if I wanted to dip into those as well although I hardly do if I'm honest sometimes I do sometimes I don't let me know what you guys do with those points down below because I'd be really interested to know the bulk of my ingredients I'm going to use some Aldi bacon some Aldi reduced fat pork sausages eggs and then a couple of mushrooms and some cherry tomatoes as well so this is the bulk of the situation and um, so i need to just get that pointed so i'm gonna get my handy app measuring everything up so two slices of that bacon is four points definitely 
on board with that. I'm going to track four points there. So six remaining. I'm going to move on now to the sausages and see what they're equating to. Two points for one sausage. Do you know what? I'm, I don't know whether to have one or two. No, we need to weigh it. That's two points per 52 grams. So, out of interest, I should weigh one sausage and see what the actual situation is. So, one sausage is actually 60 grams. So, if I was to put two on there, that would make it 114 grams, which, if I change that on here to 114, that would, in fact, make it four points. So, yeah, still... Still fine. So because eggs are free and also so is the veg, and that makes my breakfast a grand total so far without oil of eight points. When it comes to the eggs, even though they're free, I'm still just gonna have two eggs and one egg white. Um, I think you'll agree, this does not look like a half-hearted brunch. This will more than fill me. In fact, I don't even know if I'll finish the whole thing. Normally, if I would have ever had a breakfast like this, um, I would have felt guilty about it, but I can eat this knowing that it's well within my point allowance, and you know, that's the great thing about Weight Watchers. You can literally have whatever you want, just in moderation. <laughs> Guys, I've been defeated. <laughs> I can't finish it. I had a really good go because I pointed it all, but... Um, I thought there's no point eating for eating sake, so I've left a bit of the egg. I would say that probably constitutes to about one egg and um, a third of a sausage, maybe, maybe just over a third. Just about to go and get Lila on the school run, and I'm going to take my trusty apple, like I always do on my walk. Super tip is keep your apples in the fridge because they are so refreshing on a hot day. Okay, so it's been a few hours now. It's about 5.30 so I'm just about to start dinner. As I mentioned this morning I'm going to be doing like a chicken chic kebab situation with veg and salad so let's get cracking. Okay so these are the key ingredients that I needed for the marinade. Um, I pointed all of these separately but bearing in mind that this is between two so whatever you point make sure that you're doing it in accordance to how many people are eating. So I put two tablespoons of light Hellman's mayonnaise, half a teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper and half a teaspoon of the rest of these ingredients which are ground coriander, smoked paprika, mild chilli powder, some Coleman's mustard powder and I've also put two tablespoons of honey in there as well and that has made this marinade um, which is kind of like an amber colour and that is what I'm going to use now to marinate the chicken. Also just before um, I move on I have put two cloves of garlic in this as well I've just grated it in along with a dash of olive oil not a lot to be honest I'm not even bothered to point it it was that little because obviously you've got the mayo but um, yeah so that is the marinade Um, I've just marinated it with a bit of oregano, salt and pepper um, and a little bit of that fry light oil, oil and I'm just going to put these on the sticks as well.
that is dinner guys it looks absolutely delicious i have three very very large kebabs here two pieces of the flatbread and in total my dinner has come to 13 points which is so fabulous because i know that this will more than fill me up and i'm really excited about it it's just so flavorful and yeah i'm gonna get these off the skewers and then go and tuck in Oh my goodness, it was one of the most tasty things that I've made recently since actually I've ever done a what I eat in a day. I think that has been my favourite meal that I've ever done. Really lovely, nice and light surprisingly and just really refreshing and I really enjoyed it, really flavourful. So that takes me to the end of my points today. I'll probably have some fruit with my supper if I feel hungry but to be quite honest, I doubt it. I had a lot of fruit today so I'm probably going to call it a day at that and just have water throughout the rest of the night but I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment down below, let me know what you think and give this video a thumbs up if you would like to see more what I eat in a day videos from me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.